about us. It's about the way we relax. It's about the way we have fun. It's about the way we've been entertained since we were kids. It's about the people that make us laugh, jump, and even scream sometimes. Sometimes. It's about our role model. TTF. 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 Let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Satisfy. Today, class, it's another fresh episode of your favorite show, The True Fan. Yes, today promises to be a lot of fun because we have Mr. Utunu in the building. Yes, so Mr. Utunu is in the building. Now. And do not forget, our fans today are super duper hot. So don't even think about changing the channel. Now, let's be Michael, Kende, and Melvin. My name is Ufuma Ijebe, and this is The True Fan. We'll be right back. Uh, my name is Michael. Uh, I'm the CEO of Hard Knocks Entertainment. My name is Mujahid Kendi Adola. A student of the University of Lagos, a student of mathematics, the Department of Mathematics, Faculty of Science. Believe me, I'm loving these guys, I tell you. Lovely people, right? So, who's ready to meet this afternoon? Let's go, we'll be right back. I think I'm ready. Look, she was light skin, light skin, quite trim. I met her at ice cream. Factory. She was sipping on a strawberry daiquiri. Nah. The Liz is somebody I really love in the entertainment industry. He I love Liz because one, I love his swag. I love his packaging. I love his look. He, he does one thing and that thing he gives it the best. Time's gone by now. We joking and laughing. Late night, so we blackberry chatting. Hey, yeah. Think about Link. Link is a great man. Like, seriously. Link happens to be my favorite artist. First of all, because of his personality. I, I, I fall in love with people who are big, who are made, but still are down to earth. And that was one of the first attributes, one of the first things that that, that made me want to associate myself with somebody like Lynx, with Lynx to be precise. I've met him occasionally, especially in my school, you know, you be lad now, there will be uh, uh, several this show and all. He is a great man and I always love his music because there are some music that the lyrics doesn't make sense at all. But if you, if you listen to Lynx songs very well, I think it's, it's a, a, a kind of song people would love to listen to. As an artist, I think the style of music is unique. And that's another thing I love. I, do, I don't like people doing what every other person does. I like somebody who picks up a particular style, sticks to it and makes it, makes it in that style. So that's basically why. You feel cool listening to it every time. Every time. So I love links and I love his song. That's how we get to know how it all started with our fans and the man of the moment, Mr. Otunu Lex. Uh, 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 show them speculation going on. Oh, they question. 
I read the blogs. I read the blogs. Look, you know I go by the name of. The name links came about because you know when I was in secondary school, I was I was a guy that you know always had the link to, to whatever you know what I'm saying people needed. So you know just being able, just being somebody that that always had somebody that had something that you want to be able to link it. You yeah, understand? That's how the name links came about. The very first time that I put paper to pen or pen to paper, we have to be like probably like 1997. Because the first time I ever went to a studio to record music was 1998. So, uh, let's say about 1997. First time I heard about Lynx, that was sometime in 2009, 2010, um, I think. I think it was um, Change Your Parade. Yeah, Change Your Parade. Let's change Your Parade. I could change your parade, change your parade, change your parade, change your parade. The song was the song blew my mind basically. I happened to hear the instrumental before the song itself. So when I heard the instrumental, I was like, okay, let me see what let me see what somebody will do with this instrumental. And listening to somebody behind the beat change your parade, it was it was mind blowing. It was it was a different style entirely. It was something I'd, I had never heard before. And so it sounded just it sounded like jollof. It tasted like jollof to me in my ears. The first time I heard the new song was. I think two years ago. <laughs> uh, I think I I get to know about Liz in University of Lagos. There was a time he did show for Pepsi. Yeah, by Liz brought in TY and then TY has not blown to where she is now. So that was when I knew Liz then. So since so then. Hey you. Hey you, my heart beats in the speaker. Now for me, I'm ready to ring out. So Liz is someone, I think, he knows what he's doing. And he comes in with standard. Not just doing something because he just wants people to know. If not so, I believe Liz will be shooting video every day. But if you watch him, he just brings out something unique, different from others. I was just there, just been practicing. Right? Like, I remember when I was in secondary school, in class, instead of me to be, you know, jotting down my notes and stuff, I'd turn my book to the back. I'd be writing lyrics during, during class. Yeah? So, so, you know, it's always been there, and it's just, it was just God's timing. That was the best time. I was ready when you met me. About time for people to drop money for Ashwee B. Welcome back, Michael. I totally agree with you. Links has set a standard for itself, a standard that I truly, truly, truly respect. I remember when I was in secondary school too, I used to write down lyrics. Just like you, Links, the only reason why I'm not be a musician is because of the book. Yes, and plus you'll be fine boy, and you did try. So anyway, we'll be right back. When I came into the industry, the industry was, was very empty, you know, like, there was only a few people who, you know, were standing out at that point in time because, you know, we had we had the pioneers of the industry in the industry at that time. So the new school of of MCs or entertainers were just coming in. And I was fortunate enough to be one of them at that point in time, you know, when the industry was still young and growing. So, you know, in terms of new people I met in the industry then was obviously Banjo and L D, they were already there, but you know, new cats like Ike Chuku back then and, you know, M.I., uh, Nato C, Dr. Sid, The Prince. Even Whiskey wasn't really out <laughs> at that point, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, 2009, man, it was, it was an amazing time. I liked the industry then because, you know, it was just, a lot of us were just coming together, just trying to make something out of, out of nothing, you know what I'm saying? And just make sure that we bring in a new energy to the industry, you know, so and the industry is saturated, man. Every day, new artists, every day, two million songs for internet. Man. You know what I'm saying? People have seen that this business is actually a growing business, it's very, very fruitful. And, you know, everybody wants to get involved now, so man, good luck to everybody. Man. Well, after, after catching my attention way back, 2009, 2010. Uh, I would say Lynx has come a long way. He has, he has, he has gone from being the upcoming artist to one of the biggest names in this industry right now. I don't think you will call the biggest names in the industry right now without mentioning Lynx, and your list is definitely not complete. 
So he's, I think he's been keeping it real. He's been keeping it real. First of all, I, I, I keeping it real in the sense that he stuck to his style of music, the style of music he came out with initially, and from there has just gone on to make it big in the industry. For me, you know, what I, what I strive to do, or what I strive to achieve, you know, as a musician, as a businessman in the, in the industry, I strive to bring standards to the industry. You know, I'm saying my aim is not to just exist and just be you know, making hits records or just to have the biggest song in the country. That's, that's not my agenda, that's not what Lynx is about. You see, I believe in standard. So far in this school, I've not worked with any artist that is not first class. So I think Lynx has a standard. And that standard is what I, I, I also am working up to. So I think Lynx operates in the first class standard. Yeah, I was enjoying that video too, but I'm sorry, we got to go. But don't worry, we'll be here same time, same station next week with a continuation on Lynx's The True Fan. Yes, don't worry about it. Now remember this, your business can do so much better if you create the standard for yourself and focus, just like our darling, darling Lynx. Now follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube to rep your favorite. I am your darling, Ufoma Ijebe. Now remember, you can always follow your dreams because you're special and because you can. See you next time. Bye-bye.